Hello and welcome to the Real Life Show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a platform where we get to engage, interact, learn from icons, gurus, trends. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing right now? <laughs> okay, this is comedy. Yeah, um, seated next to me is uh, someone who has changed the face of comedy right here in Zambia. Uh, the only Dumbo who is slim, ladies and gentlemen, Ken Dumbo. Ken, welcome to the show. Era era, ube ba se meri gori shinae, riula pa ni chanda. Jonathan, good to, to 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 see you once again, and thank you so much for having me on the show. To everybody watching, thank you so much for supporting local content. Give a minute my phone, and I come on and chizo mbai. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Good to have awesome, you. Awesome, awesome. Uh, man, um, I love your comedy. Thank you so awesome, much. Awesome, marvelous. The 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 issue of setting a certain structure where people are able to follow they know today is this today tomorrow is what appreciation friday mm -hmm. uh, the other time is what's trending on social media the other time we're talking about politics how did you set up how did you come up with that structure okay so at the end of the day um, there's, there's a saying muri bachizungu the wise man once said <laughs> yeah there's a saying which says uh, failing to plan is planning to fail you failed already yeah so if you you can't plan your content you can't plan how you're going to put it out for people to consume it then you failed already so yeah. for me uh, i take everything that i do very serious uh, yeah. there's some people that don't like me there are people that don't love what i post yeah. But I think for me that doesn't matter. As long as I'm passionate and love what I do, I, I plan for it, I know what I'm supposed to do at what time, and I'm dedicated to it. When I'm recording something, my phones are off. That's how right. serious I take my business. So it's a matter of what you want to, to communicate, what you want to achieve, and what yeah. you want to get at the end of the day. And that's how I find myself structuring those contents. So each and every content that I post out there has yeah. a target audience. And so it's me to determine, okay, so, when do I post this? Which yeah. date do I give this? Depending on what is trending. Now, Ken, last time I had a chat with you, you told me that you are making money through comedy. I won't a lot, <laughs> a lot of money. Come on, now then, like this number of natural are you? And you are seriously becoming a dumbo now. Now, uh, yeah. what inspired you to get into comedy? I'm aware you are a journalist by profession. Mm -hmm. what, what what inspired you to get into comedy? My vote. Vanekunimavuto panja panja to tell you the truth if you do not just become innovative you mm. keep on complaining boma irangana epo nayo boma problem ina bantu bambiri boyangana so by the time they are coming to langana on new niche uenda na mkufa so you need to become innovative and creative mm. and so for me yes i'm a trained journalist professional by the way na chipepa tuna parking and no parking uh, but then i realized that uh, there was no money yeah. in that field at mm. that particular time when I needed it. Mm. So I became innovative to find a way of uh, telling people that, oh, I can do this and you can actually pay for it if you need my services. And that's how I ended up started making videos, which people ended up loving. And then some people realized that, oh, this guy can actually host events. And I started hosting events and people pay me for hosting events. And not only that, my numbers grew how, on how my much, social media How much media do you page. charge, man? How much do you charge? Ah, call me. <laughs> call me. People may end up starting calculating. Then I'm going to go and Yeah, so um, I ended up realizing certain things that I was yeah. not able to do. For example, because of the growth of my numbers on my page, I'll yeah. tell you that at the moment I'm almost reaching half a million numbers wow. on my social media platform, wow. Facebook in particular. And those are not easy numbers to get. I know. I know. So I said, okay, I'm not going to let go of these numbers just like that. So I realized that, oh, I also had uh, in me yeah. the to advertise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I started advertising, and because people's uh, clients are on my page, yeah. every time when people are selling something, they'll bring the product to me, yeah. they explain it to me, and I share it to the people out there, and people end up loving it, and uh, they pay me for advertising their product. Great. Now, uh, Ken, you know, you're talking about growth and you growing from small numbers to big numbers. Mm -hmm. You're like a household name now. Now, my question is, how long did it take you to build this brand? When did you start this comedy? For those of you that may not be aware, I started recording videos uh, some five years ago. Wow. 
Yeah, so it's like a master's degree, man. Yeah, it is. Come on, when I have a diploma, when I was a graduate, when I have a diploma, even when I got a fire, the minimum five years. So it looks like it's something easy. So nowadays I laugh when somebody just calls me. Ah, but don't bother. I don't know. Can I come on? Guy, my man, just my videos. Too angry, so I'm at the tamba. Oh, you got no boy. No, I'm not at the tamba. Go away. I send some pesos. I walk up post it. I saw the tamba. We meet. Now I just walk at the tamba. Two weeks. Yeah. Uli, uli like Irions, uli comment, uli view yeah. But it's about persistence. You get mm. my point. You, mm. you 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 push hard. As long as you're passionate about something, the more you push, the more people start realizing that okay, this guy is trying to communicate something. And if you're consistent, they'll be like, ah, okay, let's take time and just see what this guy does. The moment they realize that you bring out content that they, they actually love, yeah. they'll give you the support. It took me five years to be where I am today. I haven't even reached where I want to be. So. Great. Man now, man. now, now, talking about five years is a long time. What are some of the challenges that you encounter that people don't know that you went through as you are pursuing your career? In okay, comedy? so we change insults in Angola. Naturally, change. This is Uganda. No matter what you do, insults. Na, ni ma wana ma comments page. This app we are just from now. We are just munga chati atogokuro tamuntu cha no. You're just wasting your time. Ah, you are not funny. I don't find you funny. Hey, what and what? How do you deal with that? Uh, I sometimes ignore. Do you block people? I used to, but not anymore. But because then in my in my block as in Angwe so yeah, there are certain people that I block. You see, yeah. uh, as 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 much as we are passionate about these things, we always need somebody to just tell us, you know what, man, what you're doing is great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Please continue with the same spirit. We and that's the reason why I'm always. here. Chatting yeah. with you right now is because we appreciate what you're doing. Man. I'm grateful, it's, but it's, then there are just some people who never see anything good about what you do, and they will come and just show it on your on your on, on your, your page, page and say, "We don't love you, man. You're forcing things. There's nothing good about what you do. <laughs> you're not funny and stuff." But uh, yeah, I I try to give them also a, a, a bit up here of the dosage, mm. and sometimes you can bore them on my bosom. For someone that wants to be like you, wants to start make money, making money, wants to get into the career of comedy, what is your advice to them? Know what you want first. Yeah. When you discover what you want, identify people who are going to help you grow. Mm. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Identify people that are going to help you grow because not everyone is going to love you. Not everyone is going to like what you do. Yeah. So the moment you go in the industry with the notion of to say, I want to be famous. Mm. Ah, well, that so, so, so the motive must be correct. The motive must be correct. Great. So know what you want. Mm. Identify who is going to help you. Yeah. Then take your job seriously. Seriously, yeah. Yeah. When you are recording, you know, even if in somebody's eyes it looks like it's wasting time, mm. be committed to it. I've told myself, never should a day go without me posting a, a video on my page. And I'm committed to that. Sometimes I will have a busy day and then only realize when I'm in bed, and oh, I haven't posted a video today. And I wake up, it's 22 hours. I wake up, come up with a quick concept to go in my living room, record, and then share it. Now, you look like you, you enjoy what you do. It's like fulfilling people. It's all. like you're, you're doing your job. But what's what's the best thing about your job? What can you say is is, is, is the best? The best project? thing about my job is I love what I do. I feel free when I'm doing what I'm doing. There is no one to tell me, hey, you haven't done that. You haven't achieved your, your, your target. You haven't achieved your goal. So you are, you are, we are not make, uh, paying you. Mm. I love what I do. So even if I don't get paid for it, when I do it, I'm like, wow. I had fulfilled. a busy day, but I think I feel <laughs> fulfilled now. So it's about loving what you do. There's nothing better than doing something that you love and without anybody, you know, giving you Instruct instructions you know, yeah. and uh, commanding you to do certain things. That was a point I felt like I cannot be managed. You know, you have to be a boss, you have to every time. Yeah, you haven't done this, I do this. You have to do this. You have to do this. Yeah, so to some extent, you just just do what you love and then, yeah. Great. Now, you, I know you've hosted events, uh, big events, where actually His Excellence, uh, the President of Zambia has attended. You've done TV presentations, radio presentations. What, are, what would you say is your biggest accomplishment that you are most proud of right now when you look at it? Ah, uh, wait. Well, if the commander in chief <laughs> His Excellency <laughs> is at an event where you are the host. The host, yeah. 
it is you to say at this moment i'm going to uh, invite whoever to come and call his excellency to come. come on what is bigger than that achievement everybody wants to talk to the president everybody wants to shake the hands of the president everybody wants to interact with the president so if you are given an opportunity to host an event where the president is guest of honor yeah come on in a panorama kama cha the medit you made it i like that i like that yeah so like that, that that for me that was the biggest event i've ever hosted uh, that was the national youth forum 2020 it was held at mlongoshi international conference center president diga chagwalungu was president and i was the host together with uh, uh, a colleague uh, from hot fm uh, yeah. by the name of honey Uh, so Good. I hosted that event and it's one of my my best events. Awesome. Now you 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 are very serious about what you do. You love what you do. It's Too a serious, serious it's a serious Too job serious for that you. I even had to break up with someone. So <laughs> kwagwira kunungu sauce. What would you say are your driving forces in life? What drives you? There are a lot of things that drive me. One of the things is that Uh, I, I grew up in a, uh, in, in a community where young people don't believe in themselves. Mm. You know, like most of them have low self-esteem because mm. of what they call a place. I grew up in a place yeah. called Solomon Compound, mm. and there was a rumor sometimes in a place called Mfuit. Mm. So every time you are around people from other areas and they notice that you are from Solomon, they'll be like, ah, choka kwa Mfuit. So because of that people yeah. every time young there's people a, there's, a, there's they, a low self yeah, esteem they, they look yeah. at themselves in a certain way exactly yeah. but in enabo na kama chebe you know i need to make a difference I have to make it in a ah hapa ndine chiro mode or somewhere <laughs> so that's what um, moves me i always want to you know motivate somebody out right. there i want somebody to believe that it doesn't matter where they come from mm. uh, impossible is just a word yeah. like possible yeah so if it is impossible then just put a space where there is i am mm. then it will be i'm possible yeah and Great. then yeah i like that so what, push what, yourself. what what would you say is the most important thing that you've learned in life so far mind your own business <laughs> when you mind your own business you'll be a happy person yeah you will push mm. whatever targets you have so yeah. that you achieve them when you mind your own business you will know what you want to get mm. when you mind your own business you'll be happy with the little that you do i like your energy man i mean i could have been from there is if you could be anything in life uh, ken anything in life in one day what would you be and why out to be me Okay. because I love me. Awesome. Yeah. I don't want to be anybody else. I don't want to be anything else. I just want to be me. I've had the best experience. I have I've had tough times, I've had mm. good times. Mm. I've basically loved whatever I've gone through and even if I died today, I think I'd be proud of myself. Good. Yeah. Uh I heard a song. I teach in Chabaja <laughs> Are you trying to get into music Ken? I've I've been singing for some time. Mm. Uh Jackie, you are passionate about uh, several things and then chimos checha bwa cha kupeleka muinda and then yeah. people get to know you for that yeah, particular thing. They define thing. you with that yeah. particular because so you're known So I've been for singing that. even mm. at church. I used to sing in a, some quartet at church. Mm. I would sing in some singing groups, youth ministries groups. Yeah, so I've been singing. Uh, grade 9 we formed a group in uh, junior secondary, a group called K Brothers where we would sing with friends. So you just sit down, write songs, and then there would be a guy playing my desks ukumwimba mwarapa no rapa bija. But then at the end of the day what I want to change is Zambia music career and could be back to blow. That's a guy wa masamba, but but ngena go chevi now then. Uh fortunate enough kuja tabwa tapula. So boy is boy is ako Sizo kutapula so tusenzese kukupushinga yeah. career yeah. ina strategy. Yeah, I'm going to strategic thing. So <laughs> I love singing and uh, I think if an opportunity comes anytime any day I get into a studio and there is a free beat I will always come up with something and then I sing. Can I saw an engagement on social media? Yes. Is that comedy? Is that real? Uh, was that Photoshop? Okay, so why do you think it was Photoshop? I don't know. That's what people say. Why do you yeah. think it was comedy? You're, you're a comedian. So I, I comedians I, don't fall in love. I, I, I don't trust you. Man. No, comedians don't fall in love. I don't trust you. 
Okay. Maybe I just I'm here to it. confirm that that engagement is real. <laughs> I'm in love with Nyabe Nyauju Nyadumbo. When are we seeing the wedding between Ken and Felicity? Come on, did you ask us to tell you when the engagement was going to be? We just surprised you, so <laughs> be ready for anything. Uh, yeah. I, I don't love telling people my plans. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you know when you feel But but, but but that's real. Yes, like it is. you are you you and Felicity are in a serious it is relationship. Real. It is real. Okay. How did you get to know each other? Was it be- social media? Did you start it as a joke or what? Did you inbox her? No, I didn't. She did a video of her confessing how much she loves a guy from Zambia called Ken Dumbo. And I looked oh. at the video, I'm like, wow, okay. So Muno is why Ziti Peter Peter Chabetika proposes Ziti Tanula. Internationally, somebody's in love with me. Why am I wasting my time? Wow. And I also, you know, showed interest. And here we are. What's your favorite meal? Every day, all day, fried okra and shima. It doesn't matter whether it is served with chicken, carpenter, or fish, as long as it's fried okra. Great. Mm. I like fried okra as well. Oh, birds of the same feathers flock together. You see, my chair, my Zambians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as we wind up the, 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 the show, what are your last words to people who are aspiring to make an impact, you know, make it in comedy? Uh, they look up to you and they want to kind of like follow your path. It is only you mm. who knows where you are coming from and it is only you who knows what you want to be. It is only you who knows deep inside you what you are capable of doing. To some, that may mean nothing. But you know that if only an opportunity was to come through, you would actually do well with what is hidden inside you. You may not have all the opportunities to do what you have inside you. Mm. And so sometimes you need to create those opportunities for yourself. I knew I was a good presenter, whether on TV or on radio or anywhere. As long as I'm given a platform, I knew I was going to harm it. But I was never given an opportunity to showcase my skill and talent. I took advantage of social media and showed people what I was capable of doing. From social media, today I can safely say I presented one of the biggest shows on national television. I presented Born and Bread. I Mm. presented Comedy Time. I presented the show called On the Street. I presented the show called Celebrity Hotspot. Mm. I presented the show called Imwe, Nivambiri, I've worked for various radio stations, I've worked for Horn FM, I've worked for Pan African Radio, I've worked for ZNBC TV2, TV1, I've, I've worked for, 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 for Prism Africa TV, I've, Imwe, I'm currently working for Quito FM. So, believe in yourself. Great. Don't wait for people to believe in you. Awesome. Show them that you're capable of doing what they're actually doubting. Some people will tell you you can't do it because they failed, but your experience must be different. Wow. Guys, this guy right here is the real deal. You're not just a comedian, man. You're also a motivational speaker. Nina Vonse. I can even play the role of a husband or a wife. If you're not there. <laughs> I'm trying to talk over my show right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the real life show. Yeah, we were chilling with uh, Ken Dumbo. I think he's making waves and he's changed the face of the industry, showing people that it is possible to make it in life just through comedy. Keep watching the real life show. See you next time. God bless you and stay safe.